Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin and I'm so glad that you joined me today because today I have a neat tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how I take one of those picture frames that I got from my thrifting haul and turn it into a jewelry holder. I'm so excited about this. I'll make sure that I link that video to the thrifting haul right up here in the iCard so that you can go and check that one out. I had so much fun doing that. Well, I'm ready to get this project started. Come go with me. Welcome to Fixin' 2. supplies that you're going to need for this project. Of course you're going to need a frame, any size will do. Also you're going to need some scrap burlap. Of course this also any type that you have and enough that's going to cover the size of your frame. We're going to use some cardboard that also will fit on the back and I'm going to cover that with this contact paper that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of got that wood grain to it and we're just going to use that as backing. We're also going to use these hooks that I also got at Dollar Tree. They're an adhesive hook. We're going to need scissors, a paintbrush, and paint of course. And the kind we're using is this Waverly chalk paint in the color white. We're also going to use the acrylic paint, Apple Barrel brand, in the color um, Burnt Umber and our trusty hot glue gun. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover this with a good base coat of the white chalk paint. Just cover it completely, and I wound up putting two coats on this piece. While that's drying, we're going to take the contact paper and I'm going to be covering that cardboard piece. Now, you won't really see it that well, but we wanted something that's going to um, not show through as bland um, behind the burlap. But we're just going to take it, cut it out about an inch around the border, bigger than the cardboard, place it on there. And then what I did is I cut these triangle pieces in each corner to help me fold it over and get a nice clean edge. Now what we're gonna do is take this, these hooks and I'm gonna take the white chalk paint, even though they're white in color already, we want to get the same technique on these as you do on the frame. So then once I've painted them with the chalk paint, then I'm going to go back once they're dry and then just begin to touch it with the burnt umber to give it that distressed look. So now we're ready to do the distressed look on the frame using the brush on and wipe off with a damp paper towel. I'll link the video to my cross video that I did with this technique up in the iCards above. Now you're going to take the cardboard that you covered with the contact paper and you're going to lay it face down onto your burlap. Now make sure that your burlap is bigger than your cardboard. We're going to take painter's tape and pull all four sides as tight as we can get it and then tape it to the back of the cardboard with the painter's tape. Now that you have that done, we're ready to place it into our frame. So we're going to take a bead of hot glue and we're going to run it around the edge where the mirror would normally sit with the hot glue and then place the cardboard down into that. So once you get it placed down in there, you're just going to kind of push it and let the glue dry. 
Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to run a really thick bead of hot glue on the burlap and the edge of the frame to make a nice seal. Now we're ready to pull off the painter's tape. And once we get the painter's tape off, then we're going to grab a pair of scissors and we're going to cut off the excess burlap around the back of the frame. Now we're ready to place the hooks onto the front of the frame. Now you can put them anywhere that you would like. I just placed them um, where I wanted them because of the jewelry that I have. And so I just kind of dry fitted them, so to speak. I kind of placed everything around where I wanted them. And I really wanted it off to one side so that I can use the burlap to hang some of my earrings. I'm kind of offsetting it to one side and I'm going to put my earrings there. So once you've got them kind of dry placed where you want them, then you're just going to peel off the back um, for the sticky and then use a little bit of your hot glue to help secure it and hold it into place. The last thing I'm going to do is just take some of my, the rope that I have on hand and just put it along the back using a lot of hot glue to hold it there to be able to hang it. Well, Fixer family, I think this turned out so awesome. I am so excited to get this hung up in my closet where I have my jewelry so that I can organize my jewelry and see what all I have. I don't really have a whole lot, but at least I can see kind of what I have. So maybe I can go out and maybe buy a few new pieces, who knows? But I am so excited about this. I think it turned out great and I will definitely make sure I put some pictures in here for you to show you what it'll look like with some jewelry hanging on it and everything. So guys, if this is the first time to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down there and the notification bell right next to it so that you don't miss a single video. I'd love for you to come along and come be a part of the Fixer family. Also, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this. That helps me out a whole lot. Letting me know what you guys like and what you would like to see more of. Comment down in the comment section below, giving me some ideas of some things that you would like to see. I would love to be able to do some different things and show you exactly what you would like to see done. Well guys, I'm so glad again that you came along with me today. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.